Hey everyone, Fuseman coming at you, and welcome back to the Deep Dive, where we literally dive deep into the intricacies of virtual reality. Today we're going to be looking at Altspace, which is a social VR application, and exploring some of the design details that they use for social VR. So we're going to be jumping into the Tavern, which is a small social space where you can interact with a bunch of different objects and people. And in all social VR, you're represented by an avatar. So here, I'm a little flying helicopter dude. And the neat thing about going social or multiplayer is that it opens up a whole bunch of new ways to interact with the world. Like in this case, we're playing Slice the Pumpkin. Got it. Have an epic sword fight. Done. <laughs> or just have an amazing conversation about <laughs> virtual reality. <laughs> but all joking aside, social VR is going to be the way that we as a VR community are going to be able to sell VR as a non-isolating experience. After all, VR is the only technology that we have developed that allows us to maintain eye contact while having a conversation from completely different places. And that is huge. Seriously, as VR designers and developers, we need to use social as a tool to increase the level of immersion that people feel as they enter our virtual worlds. For example, in Oculus Social, they choose to fake your eye movements as you move your head and that small detail in and of itself makes you feel like that person is a lot more present in your space as you're having that conversation. And this is a detail I don't even see in alt space and something I wish they really had added. The other thing I want to point out is their use of smoothing to make you feel like everyone is present in the environment. In a network setting like alt space, you don't get all of the data for where everyone is at any given moment. So it's up to us as developers to fill in the gaps. And that'll be it for this episode. If you'd like to see more deep dives, make sure to like and subscribe. Or follow us on social media to make sure you get notified of when a new video is up. And if you'd like to see how to actually implement the basics of social VR, make sure to tune in this weekend where we're going to be going over that in Unity during our live stream. But that'll be it for us. This has been Fuseman. I'm signing out. And I'll see you guys in the next deep dive.